guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zarya Shakira, aka Frizzy Curls, back again with another YouTube video. So today I'll be giving you guys a review slash demo on the Pattern Beauty Natural Hair Care Line, which was founded by Tracy Ellis Ross. She is a famous actress. Most of you may know her from a sitcom called Girlfriends or Blackish, but she's also, you know, found her new passion in the natural hair care community. And today I'm just here to show you guys how I use her products and what I thought about them. So if you want to see this review, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is gonna be a semi voiceover and semi talk through, but as I'm in the shower, obviously I can't talk to y'all, so yeah. My previous hairstyle was the one featured in my last upload, so to wash my hair today, I first start off by wetting my hair. I do have low porosity hair, so it takes a little time for it to be completely saturated, but once it is, I will be taking my hydration shampoo by Pattern Beauty to begin washing my hair. I probably used more shampoo than I should have for this half of my hair because when I wash my hair, I only focus on my scalp, so a lot of shampoo isn't necessary, but you live and you learn, so I won't squeeze that much out next time. This shampoo is very cleansing, like it says, so I definitely know for sure that next time I wash my hair with it, I won't need a lot. A little does go a long way for this shampoo. But anywho, once I've washed and rinsed my hair, I will now be taking my medium conditioner for curlies by Pattern Beauty and applying it to that half. Unlike Pattern Beauty's shampoo, the conditioner, however, does not go a long way. The consistency is pretty thick for a conditioner, at least to me. So I did find myself having to squeeze a lot more product out to cover the sections of my hair, which means this is a product I probably will run out of pretty often. As for the slip and moisture that it provided though, it was pretty satisfying. My hair detangled with ease and while I was in the shower, I got the bright idea to actually use Pattern Beauty's conditioner as a deep conditioner. So after I washed and conditioned the other half of my hair, I applied heat to my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes using my hooded attachment for my blow dryer. And I must say that probably was the smartest thing I could have done with this conditioner. Like I mentioned, my hair is low porosity, so it's probably best that I did sit under the dryer to let the conditioner actually penetrate through the strands of my hair. This was immediately after I took my shower cap off and I just wanted to see how my curls look and I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. My hair doesn't even look like this, at least not to me, after I've deep conditioned my hair with actual deep conditioner and sat under the dryer. So I'm probably gonna be using this medium conditioner for curlies as deep conditioner from here on out. So now of course I'm just rinsing out the conditioner and you'll see in a second how my curls are looking after using it. All I'm doing right here though is just brushing all of my hair to the back because I will be doing a side part this time on my wash and go. I've been getting tired of doing middle parts and I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing middle parts. So that's all I'm doing right here. Last but not least, I'll be using Pattern Beauty's leave-in conditioner as my styler today. It says it's defining and moisturizing. So since this natural hair care line doesn't yet have styling products, that's why I decided to use it as a styler to see how it works on my hair. What I did with the leave-in conditioner was the same process I did in my everyday wash and go video. And what I did in that video was just take medium to large sections of hair, wet it under the shower head and apply the product to that section. So for this video, I knew I wanted this to work on my hair and I wanted it to be a bomb wash and go. So what I did was separate the section I applied the product to in smaller subsections and use my dimming brush to detangle, smooth, and define my curls. I got the travel size for all three of these products, which were each three ounces, and they're priced at $9. After using them for this wash and go, I still have product left in each of them, but I don't think it'll be enough for another wash and go on my whole head using what I have left. So right now I'm liking how my curls are looking. I'm just praying to the natural hair guys that this wash and go comes out right. I have high hopes for this. I have very high hopes for this wash and go. Oh my goodness, I have very high hopes. Thank you. 
Okay, sorry, I'm fangirling right now, but sis, if you're not new to my channel, you have probably seen a lot of wash and goes that I've done. You've seen plenty of deep condition processes. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but these products are hitting my hair a little differently. Just look at the bounce back and definition. Like, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? All right, guys, that is my fan. Excuse it, please. But um, these are my curls. <laughs> like, hold on. Can y'all see them or not? So like I mentioned, during this process, I really have super high hopes for these curls. Like, this looks like it's on its way to being a bomb wash and go. Like, if my hair dries like this and gets a little big, of course, and I pick it out, it's wraps. I love how my hair looks right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. It looks so good. Like, oh my goodness. I really just can't believe it because like, what? shampoo conditioner and leave-in conditioner has done this to my hair none okay we're just gonna see how this dries and i'll be back later Bye, girl, yeah. Okay, sorry y'all. Y'all know I like to sing. But this is the next day, so I'm just going to let you guys know my final thoughts on Pattern Beauty by Tracy Ellis Ross. Okay guys, this is now the next morning as I probably already said if I didn't this is the next morning Um, so I had to sleep with my curls in my bonnet wrapped up in my scarf But this is what my curls are looking like now. I still think they look really good as y'all heard and saw from my reaction of me in the shower doing my hair you know I was expecting a bomb wash and go and we're still looking pretty good so all I'm gonna do now is just take my oil mixture, nothing new, moisturizing it with the oil. And now all I'm gonna do is just pick out my hair with my pick until I get the volume I'm looking for. Trying not to really disturb the curls cause I still want it to look like I at least <laughs> have product on my hair and not just a big old frizz ball but I mean I'm gonna fluff it enough but not too much please excuse the shadow that you see I can't help that right now it's just my lighting but this is what my hair is looking like after I fluffed it you know, sometimes I just go in there and do a little extra. But let me just tell y'all. I don't know if it's just me. Like, let me know if I'm just gassing myself. But my hair looks the fuck good. Like. So my hair today was achieved using these three products from the Pattern Beauty Natural Hair Care line. The first thing I used obviously was the hydrating shampoo. It gently cleanses and hydrates the hair. 
I definitely felt like it cleansed my hair. As for the hydration, I'm not sure if I really like felt that. I don't know if it has anything to do with my color treated hair, which is not the healthiest that it can be. But um, I really do like this shampoo. It definitely cleanses my hair a little. I feel like does go a long way. Um, I don't know if you guys do the same thing when you wash your hair, but for me, I just focus it on my scalp and roots and make sure you know that's all clean, and then just let the shampoo run down my hair. That's how I've washed my hair for years. It reads that it's great for curlies, coilies, and tight textures when your hair needs a nourishing cleanse. Um, so yeah, I definitely thought that this cleansed my hair pretty well. So I definitely will buy the shampoo again. The next thing is the medium conditioner for curlies. It hydrates and nourishes hair. It reads that it is great for curlies when your curls need a bit of hydration. Now, this is the medium conditioner, which is specifically made for, I believe, 3B and 3C hair. Since my hair falls in like the type 3 category, I say sometimes my hair could be like 3C, 4A, but for the most part, at least the ends of my hair, like from the middle to the ends of my hair, I am a curly girl. So I'm actually just going to leave the website down below in my description box so you can check out all of the hair types and what they're described as and the products that are good for your hair using this line. Their website is very, very helpful. Like, if you don't know anything about natural hair, I feel like their website really kind of gives you a brief explanation on what natural hair is, the types of textures they have, especially for these products to use with it. The products even tell you what it does for your hair, so I really do like that as well. For the conditioner, I feel like a little does not go a long way, which is kind of sad because, you know, as naturals, we use conditioner more than we use shampoo, at least I would hope. I really felt like the slip on it was really good. The only thing I would say is I didn't like the consistency because it was kind of thick. To me, it felt like it was a deep conditioner that I was putting on my hair, which is not, it's not bad, but with conditioners, I like more looser conditioners because one, with looser conditioners, you probably won't have to use as much product. And I have a lot of hair, my hair is really thick, so imagine me using a three ounce bottle for all of this but I really do think it was a great conditioner like any other conditioner that I love like the Trader Joe's conditioner that I use and the Ozzy Moist those are like my top two conditioners and honestly sis this might be my top three because I really do like this conditioner my hair felt really soft okay like I know that I sat under my hair dryer for 10 minutes and that also might be a reason why the conditioner took so well to my hair but as I was rinsing out the conditioner, my hair was still like really, really soft. Even with the other conditioners that I use often, I don't really get, you know, soft hair even after rinsing it out. Like it's soft while the conditioner is in it, but once it's rinsed out, it kind of goes back to like my regular no product hair texture. And, you know, with this conditioner, I just felt like my hair was still soft. It still felt like I had the conditioner on my hair is, is basically what I'm saying. This might be the third, this might be... I don't know this is just gonna be in my top three I don't know which rank is gonna be one two or three but I really do like this conditioner for the curlies so the last thing I use obviously is the leave-in conditioner now I use the leave-in conditioner as my styler so my hair right now is styled with the leave-in conditioner let that sink in <laughs> my hair I repeat my hair was styled with the Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner. I was not expecting my hair to do any of this. I thought my hair was going to look the same as it does when there's actually no product on my hair. I just thought this leave-in conditioner was going to absorb into my hair and, you know, just act as like a moisturizer. I didn't think it was going to look like I styled my hair with like gel or something. It says it's to define and moisturize the hair. Um... I don't know if you can tell, but my hair even, even to me right now, my hair looks pretty defined and moisturized on camera. I don't know. I'm just trying not to seem like I'm just gassing this product, but I love this line already. The leave-in conditioner is for all of the hair types that this brand offers products for. It reads that it's great for curlies, coilies, and tight textures when your curls need lasting hydration and definition. So I really do think that my hair <laughs> is hydrated and defined especially for my hair being color treated so that's another thing that I really want to kind of focus on when I'm talking about these products is because 
this isn't my natural colored hair you probably know that if you don't this is not the color of hair I was born with as you can see my roots are growing out being that this is for natural hair imagine what it would have done for my hair had I not had any color on it you know I really think it would have gotten my hair to look a lot better than it does um, I'm not saying that my hair doesn't look good it's just that I know that the roots of my hair are always they have always been really really frizzy I don't really know why and it's it's really okay to me because I've embraced my frizzy curls which is why my name is frizzy curls but aside from that I really do think that this leave-in conditioner is like a great product of their line so if you're wanting to at least try some of these products I would recommend getting the travel size the reason why I got the travel size is because I didn't want to buy the big size and you know not end up liking the product but as you can see I really love these products so I probably will get my hands on the bigger sizes or at least the uh, refillable sizes that I can just put in these if I need to so when I run out I probably will be stocking up because these products they really I like how they did for my hair I I don't think I have any complaint the only thing I would say that is a problem for me is that the conditioner was a little thick and since it is a small bottle obviously I don't have enough probably for the next time I do wash and condition my hair for my whole head but if it does your hair good you might just have to make that investment you know so I really hope I explain my thoughts on these three products if there's anything I forgot like I just gonna have to put it in the description box but as for the brand in general I really think it's a good brand I really think she took her time with this so with pattern beauty the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner are for all of the hair types but for the conditioners there actually are three types of conditioners for the type 3 and the type 4 hair you guys can read all about that on her website like I said I'll leave it in the description box below it's a very informative website so go ahead and check that out if you want to know anything about pattern beauty so I know there may be conversation down the line about why she excluded type 3a and below um, I don't mean to shit on anyone's parade but the natural hair community was created by natural black people who have curly coily and kinky hair okay I don't think this brand was made to exclude people who don't have you know more textured or coarse hair but I really do think she was trying to focus on the people who essentially started the natural hair movement you know I don't really think Tracy Ellis Ross was trying to exclude people who aren't blessed with textures above 3b However, I do feel like the natural hair community has been kind of taken over by people who don't really have textured hair like this. I'm not saying she won't come out with products that aren't for people who have, you know, wavier textures. I just think she wanted to focus her first product launch on people who have more textured and coarse hair, which is not a problem. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I really do think if you are a natural and you're looking for new hair care products, I really do think you should give this line a try at least get the travel size I really think it was smart of her to do travel size as well as regular size because a lot of people they launch things and they only have full sizes and it's like well if you don't like it now what I didn't really watch anybody's tutorials because I didn't want to have any biased opinion on it I wanted to have my own opinion formulate my own thoughts with this but I hope I haven't been rambling too much I just wanted to let you guys know what I thought about it I really do think this is a great line like I'm really I'm not even trying to like be with all the hype because I'm not that type of youtuber but I would probably do this to my hair every time I wash it so as for this hair care line honestly truly I'm probably going to restock if I'm doing a wash and go in all seriousness like I really want y'all to understand that I'm being so serious I really think this might be my new go-to wash and go I literally just filmed a video on my everyday go-to wash and go and then I tried these products from Pattern Beauty and it changed my whole life like it really did. I just want to know what leave-in conditioner have you guys used that got your hair looking like you styled it with a styler? That's what I want to know and that's kind of why I'm sold on this product had my curls not turned out great I probably would be like yeah it's just a regular regular product line like nothing big but I don't know what she did to this leave-in conditioner but she did it with it okay I've been a natural for almost eight years now it'll be eight years next year and 
I don't think I found a shampoo conditioner and leave-in conditioner that makes my hair look like I've styled it with like some gels but being that this is a new natural hair care line specifically made for type 3b to 4c hair I really do like what it did for my hair like I really have to get my hands on the big sizes this video is not sponsored by the way if you're wondering like no she didn't pay me to say this I wish she did but I really do like these products on my hair I like what these did for my hair I like how my hair feels with these products and you never know one of these days I might even partner with pattern beauty let's just speak it into existence I have nothing but nice words to say about this product line. Hopefully I covered everything I wanted to mention in this video today. If I didn't, I probably will leave more details down below in the description box. Or if there's something that you want to know and I didn't mention it, please just ask me in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer those for you. But if you did enjoy this video today, let me know what you guys think about it. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Don't forget if you are new, please subscribe to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you've not heard of me yet. My name is Zarya Shakira aka Frizzy Curls and I'm your new favorite natural hair YouTuber. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!